I'm pleased to be able to introduce you now to a very new, fascinating, convincing, highly relevant and unique system of the FUGO company, the Compact Magnetic Resonance Tomograph MRT. With this product, FUGO extends its range of products in an absolutely crucial sector of social and ethical responsibility, which is in the focus of today's research and education interests, namely the sector of medicine and health. Please have a look at how the FUVA company tries to put one of the most complex medical devices in a didactically valuable education environment. The FUVA compact magnetic resonance tomograph consists of two basic units. The magnet unit here on the one side and the control unit here on the other side. The core element of the magnet unit is a permanent magnet of 0.5 tesla field strength which is still used in some medical institutions up to today. In the center of this magnet unit is the sample chamber, 10 mm in diameter, which is surrounded by the permanent magnet, but also by some coils that produce additional magnetic field gradients. With these gradients, you are able to select layers of samples inside the sample chamber and use these layers for the imaging procedure. Additionally, you can make the static magnetic field more homogeneous by superimposing the field with so-called magnetic field shims in all three spatial directions. The control unit here on the other side provides the final control of the magnet unit and has to be connected to the measurement computer via a USB connection. Finally, the software Measure MRT, which has to be installed on the measurement computer, allows you to make the settings, perform the experiments and analyze the data in order to provide for a realistic and practice-oriented nuclear magnetic resonance training for all fields of science and medicine. So, let us first connect the control unit with the magnet unit by using a standard BNC cable. And finally, the standard RJ45. As an option, a realistic MR sound can be generated by interconnecting a sound box between the control and the magnet. In the second step, we connect the control unit to the power supply. Finally, we connect the measurement computer with the control unit via USB connection. Now we are ready to start with the experiments. But obviously, as you can see, only few steps are needed to bring the system into starting position. Now, turn on the system with the power switch on on the back of the control unit. and start the software Measure MRT uh, by double-clicking on the corresponding symbol here on your measurement computer. The main screen here of the software is divided into four major sections. In the experiment section, you can select the experiment you want to perform in the following session. The parameter section here displays the parameters for the corresponding experiments. The special option to vary experimental parameters on real time and thus to directly visualize the results gives users an unprecedented learning experience. The sequence section displays the sequence that is used for the selected experiments, while the results section just displays the results no matter whether a rather theoretical experiment or an experiment with a concrete MR image is under investigation. 
So, as an example, let's now produce an MR image of a sample with a particular structure inside. The sample is part of the supplied sample set of different probes of oil and water with a diameter up to 10 millimeters. The particular probe used here contains a shaped synthetic material surrounded by a certain amount of oil. The task should be to produce a cross-sectional MR image to recognize the fine details of the synthetic material. However, first put the 10 mm sample tube with oil in a sample chamber. Second, select the experiment called MR frequency from the experiment sector. Start the measurement and now tune the system frequency to the Lama frequency of hydrogen protons. Tuning is done by varying the system frequency with the adjusting controller. The system frequency perfectly fits the Lama frequency when on the one hand the signal is at maximum amplitude and on the other hand the signal decreases without any or only small oscillations. The set value will be automatically saved for future measurements. Third, select the experiment called MR excitation angel from the experiment sector. And start again your measurement. And now, set the high frequency pulse duration to determine the flip angle of the magnetization vector. The pulse duration is corresponding to a 90 degree high frequency pulse when the recorded signal is at maximum. Again, the set value will be automatically saved for future measurements. Fourth, now remove the probe of oil and put the sample tube with the structured probe in the sample chamber. Fifth, select the experiment called Spin Echo 2D from the experiment sector. Set the number of data points to, for example, 128 and the number of phase steps to, for example, 64. Note that the number of phase steps essentially determine the measurement duration. Now select the slice orientation. In our example, we will take the XZ slice. Set the strengths of the read and face gradients in order to obtain a particular spatial encoding of the selected slice. Set the repetition time between successive measurements to a value of about 200 milliseconds and the echo time to about 10 milliseconds in order to obtain an adequate contrast. Finally, the number of averages determines the quality of the MR image by improving the signal-to-noise ratio with increasing number of averages. We set this value here to 2. Now start your measurement by clicking on the start button. As you can see, the MR image is constructed in two different domains, the location domain and the frequency domain. Conversion between these domains is done by fast Fourier transformation. 
Line by line, the encoded data is written into a matrix and the recorded signals fill the location and frequency domain. After a certain measuring time, the spatial encoded MR image has established out of the compound of different recorded signals. Obviously, the whole experiment of constructing an MR image which is absolutely comparable with typical MR images seen in clinical diagnostics could be finished in only a few minutes. So, as you can see, indeed, it is really fascinating that this system differs from other magnetic resonance tomographs only in the sample size and the fact that it is portable. The literature is tailored precisely to the experiments and provide a fascinating insight how the MR technology does work, simultaneously putting MR physics in a didactically valuable education environment. This is totally consistent with the FIBE philosophy, wishing FIBE to be your favorite partner for education, training and learning needs.